David here with Fig Boot on Pens. Uh, when doing these reviews, it's gratifying when you could see some tangible results. Uh, that can take the form of view counts or comments or in the situation where a retailer has provided a, a discount code for you to use, that they were able to see some activity from that code. Two months ago, I had done a review uh, and a giveaway of the Diplomat Arrow, a pen which I like a great deal which had been provided by the retailer Points of Distinction, uh, the exclusive U.S. importer for diplomat writing instruments. And they also provided a 20% discount code for viewers to use during the month of August. Um, while at the DC show, uh, I had the opportunity to meet with uh, Larry Raglan, uh, the president of Points of Distinction, and uh, his daughter Hillary. And they let me know that they had seen a, a decent amount of activity from that code. So Thank you for patronizing the uh, retailers uh, kind enough to donate items for me to review and to give away. I appreciate it, and they do as well. Um, while at the DC show, uh, Larry let me choose another Diplomat pen to review and give away, and I chose something rather unique and distinctive, and uh, Larry added a little something extra to it to make it even more special. And the end result is a pen that actually retails for $375, which is something very nice to be giving away. And what I have is the Diplomat Excellence A. Um, what I'm going to be doing is going over some of the parts and the features of the pen, discuss what I care for, some of the things that I don't particularly care for, uh, show some measurements, some size comparisons, and then provide a writing sample. Uh, and then stay tuned and I'll let you know how you can win this very pen. Uh, here is the box that it comes in. Uh, the Diplomat is a company based in Germany that's been around uh, since 1922. Uh, right here it says on the box since 1922. And inside we have a, if it wants to come out, a nice metal box. Actually it's a metal sleeve over a box uh, that, uh, that slips off. And Inside, uh, we have a flap of paper, and then we have a pen, which I'll take out for a second. And underneath the flap of paper, you have the uh, instructions and warranty guide, as well as a couple of international short cartridges. And then we have the pen. Uh, and what we have here is the uh, Diplomat Excellence A. Now, the Excellence A comes in 13 different models, and the one I chose is the Rumbus Galosh. Um, going back to high school geometry, uh, a rhombus is a parallelogram with four equal sides, and uh, a gilwash uh, being a term for uh, interlocking design. And for this pen, it refers to the interlocking pattern, uh, the, a grid pattern that's on the... the uh, cap in the barrel and we'll get to that in a minute uh, but let's just start with the finial to begin with um, the finial is chrome with a pl white plastic inlay that is slightly raised uh, on the inlay printed in black is the diplomat nib flower logo which in my opinion uh, there uh, is looks really nice but there's uh, an interesting story behind it uh, in their history uh, Diplomat had used the Maltese cross symbol. Uh, the Maltese cross has a long history of association with truth and sincerity and mercy and in both sacred and secular use. Uh, they come in many forms, but here's one example of a Maltese cross. You'll also find them in use by a large number of uh, police and fire departments in their logos, as you can see here. Uh, getting back to Diplomat, uh, they modified the more traditional cross to resemble uh, ink drops. And then they added in small ink drops between the larger ones to create a design that looks a little bit like a flower. Uh, then we have the chrome plated clip, uh, which does have a decent amount of spring to it. Uh, and then the ink drops drop symbolism again, uh, using the uh, a bit of negative space, which I kind of like. Uh, the cap tapers slightly up uh, and then is straight until the chrome plated cap band. And on the band it says diplomat since 1922 uh, uh, and then made in Germany. Uh, there is a, a very small, small step down, uh, minuscule really, uh, and then the barrel tapers, tapers down to the end where you have this polished chrome piece. And there's a little polished chrome piece at the end. Uh, 
let's talk about the pattern uh, on the barrel and the cap. Um, what we have here is a multi-layered matte lacquer finish that, that feels a little bit soft and rubber-like, uh, but in a good way, not in a cheap way at all. I, I really like the feel. Uh, it is very pleasant to hold in the hand, you know, and I like the unique feeling a great deal. You know, I like pens that have unique features, and uh, this pen has a tactile feeling that's un unlike anything else in my collection. Uh, too bad I need to give this pen away. I kind of wish I could keep it, but it's going to you guys. Uh, at first, I thought this pattern was actual strips of like thin metal, uh, and the pen was constructed in like a cloisonné kind of fashion, uh, but that's not the case. Uh, what you see here is uh, it's a laser engraved grid which exposes the metal barrel underneath the matte lacquer. Um, not to get too picky, but this pen is called the Rumbus Galosh, and if I recall that high school geometry, geometry a rhombus is a parallelogram uh, with four equal sides in length, and this design appears to be more rectangular than square, so technically it isn't a rhombus, it would be either a quadrilateral or a parallelogram or a rectangle, but not a rhombus. Okay, geometry rant over, uh, but the pattern is still very cool in my opinion. Uh, the cap snaps off to reveal this very nice 14k number six nib. Uh, it's two-toned which I like. Uh, I think this looks really sharp with the petals of the nib flower filled in. Uh, it says diplomat since 1922 and then 14k and 585 which means that this nib is 58.5 percent gold. Uh, and then M for medium. The steel nib on the arrow is, uh, the Diplomat arrow is outstanding. It's one of my favorite steel nibs in my collection. Uh, I like this gold nib a great deal as well. Uh, and as we'll see in here in the writing sample, this on this specific pen, it has a tendency to sing a little bit. Uh, during the writing sample, I'll talk about more about what makes a nib sing and what you can do to fix it if it's something that you don't care for. Uh, but this medium nib writes very well. And I'd have to say that the, the Diplomat steel nib ranks higher on my favorite steel nib list than the gold nib ranks on my favorite gold nib list, but uh, it's still very nice. Uh, the section is a bit more glossy uh, over, uh, it's a kind of a more glossier resin over metal, but I don't find it to be slick at all. Uh, the section tapers up to an angled chrome step up. Uh, the section begins with this chrome flared bit, which is a bit oddly shaped and uh, rather uncomfortable. Uh, if you grip the pen way down on the section, you know, I have a tendency to do that. Uh, so on this pen, I've had to uh, learn to back off a bit because when you hold it there at the end, it's a little bit on the uncomfortable side. Uh, I, you know, I believe the protrusion here is for the cap mechanism. It's basically what the clap, cap is clicking on uh, when you cap it. Um, you know, I really enjoy the overall design of the pen, uh, but that one aspect is uh, something I felt could have been a little bit improved. Um, due to the amount of metal on this pen, it is not light, uh, but it's uh, not overly heavy either. Uncapped, it, it's very well balanced in the hand, and I really do like the feeling of this, uh, this matte lacquer finish on my hand. It's just a unique texture. Um, the pen posts deeply, uh, and it does post securely, and even though the, the cap is metal, it doesn't add an inordinate amount of weight to the back of the pen. You know, it stays appropriately balanced. For my tastes. Um, with the gold nib, this pen retails for $375, which is not inexpensive, but I feel the price is appropriate for this pen. Um, you have a pen which is very well crafted, very unique, feels very solid in your hand, and comes with a very nice gold nib. Um, there is a link to uh, in the notes to the Points of Distinction website. Uh, and if you would care to make a purchase from their site for the month of October 2016, you want to use the code FIGBOOT1016 for 20% off of your order. Um, for this pen, the discount would take off $75, bringing the price down to $300, which is nice. Uh, and that discount code is good uh, site-wide. Uh, it's not uh, it's not good uh, not only good for the uh, excellence A. Uh, it's good for anything there. Um, so it might be a good opportunity to get one of uh, one of their arrows at a discounted price as well. Um, that pen really impressed me. Uh, and as I mentioned it earlier. Uh, 
Larry at Points of Distinction had graciously, graciously provided me this pen to give away. So I'm actually going to miss this one. Uh, the Excellence A has grown on me a bit, and I've used it quite a, de uh, quite a bit since uh, receiving it, and I will regret not having it around. Uh, but, uh, you know, I might have to go out and use that code myself and purchase one for myself because I do like this. Um, if you would care to win this pen, please leave a comment below in YouTube. Today is Saturday, October 1st, 2016. Sometime after midnight on uh, Tuesday, October 4th, uh, I'll randomly select a winner from the comments to win this pen. Just an FYI that typically right after uh, I have uh, made contact with the giveaway winner, I'll usually put the, new, the username of the person who won in the video notes as well, if you were curious who ended up winning. As far as comment, uh, the comment goes and a topic suggestion, since I'm going to have to give this pen away, how about letting me know about a pen that you used to own that you don't own any longer that you uh, really wish you still had? Not a requirement, just a suggestion. Uh, beside this pen, I think my main regret is getting rid of a Pilot M90. Uh, it was given to me by a friend to review and then facilitate a sale for him, and I just wasn't into it at the time. But as time has gone on I've regretted not purchasing the pen for myself uh, it, it's like I didn't truly appreciate it until it was gone but oh well uh, so that is the diplomat excellence a rumbus galosh and so now it is time for some measurements some size comparisons and then a writing sample Here we go with some size comparisons for the Diplomat Excellence A Rhombus Galosh. Uh, and here it is with a Classic Pens LB5 and a Mont Blanc 146. And then here it is with a Pelican M805. And then when regard to some other pens, we have it with a Lamy 2000. It's very similar in size and girth to the Lamy 2000. A Pelican M205. And then here it is with a uh, Lamy All Star. So we have the Diplomat Excellence A. And this is a 14, if I can write a 4. And this is a medium nib. And the ink is, appropriately enough, Diplomat Royal Blue. This is what the ink looks like. Uh, it's a nice royal blue. Uh, it comes in uh, this bottle here, uh, which is a nice little bottle, and I kind of like the fact that once you get a little bit low on the ink supply, you can kind of tip it over on one of the sides to get more of the ink out, so uh, that's kind of nice. But in regard to some other Royal Blues, this is a Faber-Castell Royal Blue. We have a Mont Blanc Royal Blue. Then this is with the ST DuPont Royal Blue. And then this is with the uh, J. Herbin Louis XIV, which is another royal blue. So you can just see how it compares. It's not quite as deep as some of the others, but it still is a, a nice color, and the ink behaves well. So here we go with the writing sample. Now, I mentioned it in the review, and as you probably heard, on this, this specific nib sings a bit. Let's see if you can hear this. Uh, there's just a, a bit of a tone there. And that this happens when, like, one or both of the tines on the nib is vibrating as it moves over the fibers of the paper. You know, nibs will sing when the frequency of the vibrations at the resonant frequency of the nib. It's kind of like, like a tuning fork or, or even like a violin string or something along those lines, and it creates an audible tone. Uh, some folks like the sound, but if you don't care for it, what you could do is sometimes changing paper. Like, you can hear it here. 
and then I'm going to try, this is some rhodia paper, and if I try it on uh, the uh, some Tomoe River paper, not so much. So you can hear that's a little louder, and then that's a little softer. Uh, that uh, you could also try smoothing out the nib a little bit, which might help. Uh, I didn't want to do that to this pen since I'm giving it away, but the resonant frequency will also be dependent on the relationship between the nib and the feed. Uh, and so if you adjust that slightly, either move the nib slightly farther out or more inset into the section, that that can reduce the singing as well. So uh, in regard to some other performance factors of the nib, uh, you can get a decent amount of line variation out of this nib uh, that it isn't too springy but I, I do find that it's very pleasant and with virtually no pressure and then increasing the pressure you can see how you can get a bit more line variation out of here and in regard to wetness it's not an overly wet nib, but uh, but I haven't had a problem with the feed keeping up at all. And in regard to reverse writing, uh, it does lay down a nice extra line, uh, extra fine line uh, with no issues. It's a little bit on the scratchy side, but not too bad. And then some fast writing. There's no problem whatsoever. Um, you know, my thanks go out to Larry and Hillary at Points of Distinction. Uh, there's a link to their website in the notes below, but uh, the, their website is actually My Diplomat Pen. Dot com. And for the month of October, don't forget to use the discount code FIGBOOT. And that's 1016, like October of 2016. And you use that code, and that will get you 20% off of everything on their site, or anything on their site uh, that you order. And uh, don't forget to leave a comment below for the chance to win this very pen. So, thank you very much for watching, and we'll talk to you later.